Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand how we can use Java programming in JMeter. So before moving to Java programming, first we need to go for the prerequisite. To do programming, we need JDK and Eclipse. I'm taking an example in which I assume that we don't have the JDK and Eclipse. First, we are going to set up JDK and then we are going to Eclipse in our system. So moving to Google and here we are writing download JDK. And the first option we'll, we are going to get is the Oracle website. So here we need to download Java accept license and here we have the option of 32 bit and 64 bit so if your system is 32 bit then download this exe file else download this 64 bit exe file so it's completely depend on your system what kind of system you are having and download jdk according to your system so as you click on that start downloading and to set up JDK, once this downloading is done, just click on the EXE, next, 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 and then finish. So I'm stopping it because I already have the JDK, so I'm stopping it. After installation of the JDK, we need to check that JDK installed successfully or not. So go to the command prompt and here check Java space hyphen version so if it is showing the version means java is set up or jdk is set up successfully now we assume that jdk is set up now we are moving to the eclipse so again go to the google download eclipse Here we have first option click on this and you are going to get Eclipse IDE for Java EE developer so if you have the system of 32 bit then download 32 bit else if you have the system of 64 bit then download 64 bit click on this installer and download so it's so installation is started and it will be a zip file so once the zip file will be downloaded successfully then just unzip it i'm cancelling it because i already have this downloaded file so i'm going to show you in my system and here we have this one so I just unzip that downloaded file and in that we are getting the folder Eclipse moving into the Eclipse and here we have Eclipse application just click on this so my Eclipse is going to be started as of now I have a Eclipse in my system we have Eclipse Kepler but we are going to get a lot of version in the Eclipse like Juno, Indigo, Helios, Luna, Mars so you can set up any of the Eclipse. When we start Eclipse, so it will show, it will ask for a path that is called workspace. We can give any of the workspace. I'm giving the name JMeter. So in under my system, it's going to create a JMeter folder and whatever the code that I'm going to write in Eclipse will be stored in this workspace. Click on OK. So my Eclipse is getting started. Once Eclipse started, we are going to get this welcome screen, close it and here on the left hand side, we are going to get package explorer that window is required to us. So we will keep it and in the middle, we are going to get in the middle area, we are going to get this editor again, it's beneficial for us. We are going to do coding over here. So keep it as well 
and rest of the window is not required as of now so I'm closing the rest of the windows to start so what we are going to do my aim is to create a project in which we will create a functions in which we will create a class and class will have four functions one for addition subtraction multiplication and division so and I'm going to use this fun these functions in my JMeter so first of all I'm going to create a project over here so file new Java project and I'm giving JMeter util the name of the project I'm giving JMeter util click on finish so it's going to create a project over here now inside the project I'm on the SRC that I'm on a source SRC right click on that and create a package so I'm going to create a new package and giving the name of the package is testing inside the package I'm going to create so right click on the package new and class so I'm going to create a new class over here and giving the name of the classes calculation so a class is created now here we need to create four functions one for addition other for subtraction division and multiplication so first public int sum it's going to take two arguments so I'm passing two arguments int a and int b and it's going to do some of this a and b and going to return this value so this is the function name of the function is sum it will take two argument from the user and it will sum these values and return the value integer type in the same way i'm going to create one more function that is subtraction again it's going to take two values and going to return subtraction of that same way I'm going to create multiplication method so again two inputs we are passing and it's going to return a into B and last method that I'm going to create is division again a and B and it's going to return division a divided by B so as of now so here we have created so here we have created a project inside the project we have a package and inside the package we have a class with four methods I want to use all these methods in my JMeter so I'm going to my project right click on the project so first we need to convert this project into jar format to convert this project into the jar format right click on the project export java jar file so we can save it anywhere i'm going to save it to my system under e drive we have a download backup folder and jar so i'm giving the file name is jmeter util normally we keep the name of the jar file which is same as project name and click on save so finish so jar file is created now i want to use this jar file which we have created from the eclipse in our jmeter so i'm moving to the jmeter and here I so here I have a test plan and inside the test plan 
I'm going to create a test case. So first of all, move to the test plan and here we can add that jar file. So the location of the jar was E drive. So I'm moving to my E drive and inside the E drive we have download backup folder. So that's the folder and inside the folder we have a jar and inside the jar folder we have jmeterutil.jar to so just select that file and click on open. So here we can see a download jar file is added to the jmeter. Now I'm coming to my test case and which is thread group and right click on this. I'm going to add a bean shell sampler over here. So now I want to pick data from the class that we have created inside the jar. So first we need to import that class. So to import the class file, import package name. So what I remember my package name was this and then class name. Class name was calculation calculation now we need to create the object of the class to create the object that's class name object name new class name to call the method we can use obj dot sum and passing two values which is 10 and 20. It's going to return a value. I'm storing that value into A and just setting this and just sysdem dot out dot print ln that is A. So everything is done. I'm going to add a listener as well. So if any problem with this bean shell sampler we are going to get error in the view result tree listener i'm going to run it and it's passed means everything is done successfully so i'm moving to my console and here we can see it displayed 30 so we are passing to inputs and it is showing the sum of this input I try to change this value and check like what will be the result if I change this value so I'm changing it to 1000 and 2000 clear previous results running it again so here we see it's 21,000 so we can check 10 1000 plus 20,000 is equal to 21,000 in the same way we can call other methods like b is equal to obj dot sub and i'm passing like 100 comma 20 and whatever the value of this b i'm going to display it so system dot out dot print ln and b Clear this, clear, clear previous results, running it, again it's passed, moving to my console, so here it shows 80, so if 100 minus 20 is 80. In the same way, I'm going to call other methods like c is equal to obj.mul, passing two inputs. And in the same way, d is equal to ob dot div passing two inputs. System dot out dot print ln that is c. And in the same way, I'm going to display d. Clear previous results. Running it again. It is getting failed. So I'll have to check why it's getting failed so it shows that encountered c in the line 7 i'm going here so yes 
so here we did not use here we missed semicolon so clear the result again and running it so this time it's passed and going to the console so that's a sum 21,000 then 80 which is subtract then multiply and if you see multiply for 10 and 20 so which is coming 200 and then division so 100 divided by 20 it is 5 so here we have seen we can create whatever we can create the code in Java language we can export that code into the form of jar and wherever required in JMeter we can call these methods we can call these methods as per our requirement it might be possible that we need these values to be used in the JMeter as of now we are just displaying in the console so we can set it to the where's dot put and I'm going to create a variable which is v1 and the value is a so here we have seen how we can use java in our jmeter thanks for watching this video